Hey guys, how's it going? So, I want to go over some things with this. This is a Winchester Model 88, chambered in 284 Winchester. Uh, I am going to date this rifle as being made in 1965, and I'll explain how I came to that conclusion. Uh, first and foremost, most of you will only have the one method that I know of, that I'm aware of, to date your older Winchester model rifle or Winchester model shotguns. Uh, most of you will only have one method. However, uh, I'm kind of lucky enough to have a second method, and I'll kind of explain that here in just a second. But if you go to Winchester's website or you go to a search engine and type in Winchester date by serial number, uh, you should get a link to a PDF. And I'll actually, I've, I've got the PDF downloaded. I'll, I'll see if I can get a link to it and put it in the description. If I can't get a link to it, then I'll upload it to my Dropbox and put that in the description. That way you'll have the link. But uh, regardless, so download the PDF and then find your particular model, shotgun, uh, lever gun, rifle, whatever you have. And the, uh, so the papers will, I'm, I'm sorry, the PDF will actually give you certain margins for when they estimate your rifle was made. Um, so I think all of the uh, Winchester records got destroyed or lost somehow whenever they were moving around uh, their warehouses. So some of the margins might, there might be a little bit of margin of error within the margins as if that's not confusing enough. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and try this anyway. So, I am dating this rifle to be made in 1965. So, first and foremost, my serial number on this rifle is the 152,000. It is 152,000 and then something odd numbers. I'm not going to I'm not going to list those. But basically, it is a six-digit serial number 152,000. It's it's in that it's in that area. Um so, and unfortunately, the margin which that serial number falls under is dated from 1963 to 1966. So, um, normally, if I didn't have the second method, that would be basically when I would assume my rifle was made. Okay, it must have been made in like 19... whatever. And I'll probably just take the median from, you know, the, the, the first side of the margin... Like the like the earliest date, the starting serial number from the earliest date, and then the ending serial number from the latest date. And I'll just kind of take them like where wherever mine falls in is probably when it was made, whatever year. I don't, I wouldn't know any better. However, um, something happened in 1964, uh, and that is Winchester changed essentially how they were manufacturing these firearms now this particular firearm they didn't change much the only thing they changed was the stock most notably the stippling on the stock so pre-1964 almost said three pre-1964 models have a checkerboard stippling so what that means is it's basically it's not going to look like this woven design it's going to look like just pyramids, like very small pyramids. And how they do that is they basically just cut a bunch of lines one direction into the wood and then cut more lines going in another direction into the wood. And it creates those those uh, pyramid patterns. It creates almost like, it almost looks like a file, like, you know, a metal file. However, if you can see this all right, okay, you can tell that this is definitely not a checkerboard cut pattern. This is not the uh, pyramids. This is a woven pattern. Another thing that you'll notice is this leaf uh, design right here. The pre-64 models didn't have that, at least not from the photos that I have seen. Uh, the pre-64 models did not have that. So, <clears throat> you've also got one right over here. And you might be able to see the uh, woven design a little bit better. So, uh, this tells me that this rifle was made either uh, probably late 64 to between late 64 and 66. 
Okay, because that's kind of like the end of my margin, but now I've got another margin, which is this is a post-1964 manufactured rifle, just because of the design on the stock. So now, what I'm doing is I'm basically just kind of taking the, my, so if, if I lay all the serial numbers out in a row in my head, if I lay all the serial numbers out in a row, and just kind of pick out my particular serial number on like a timeline that mentally leaves me to guesstimate that could be wrong that mentally leaves me to guesstimate that this rifle was made in 1965 at the, or at least maybe very late 1964 but to be safe to kind of give myself a little little working room for error on both sides you know, uh, erring on the side of caution, I'm going to call this a 1965 made rifle. Now, that's it for the video. Um, if somebody has any more information for how to date these particular rifles or any other Winchester, uh, like the older model rifle, shotguns, stuff like that, if somebody has any more information on how to further uh, get a data manufacturer on these things, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, I will do a follow-up video. I'll also put that into my description, and I will pin your comments. So, with that being said, yo guys, take it easy.